Welcome everyone to the program in the beginning. I am Father Lin. Today we celebrate the third Sunday in ordinary time, year C. Our gospel passage is from St. Luke chapter 4, from verse 14 to 21. The little boy wanted to spy on his sister and her new boyfriend. He knew they liked to sit under a certain tree. Before the young boyfriend arrived in that late evening, the little boy climbed high up in the tree and hid himself. Soon he heard the young couple down below. The fellow was evidently trying to make his first advance and impress the girl at the same time. He looked up at the night sky and said a loud voice, Little star up above, should I kiss the girl I love? He was surprised when he heard a voice from above answer, Young man down below, God forbid, let her go. We are often fond of surprises in our lives for their unexpected sense and taste are so great. But not all surprises are the good ones, at least at first glance. For instance, take the surprise Jesus sprung on the Nazarene congregation in today's Gospel passage. When Jesus was sure he had everyone's attention after he had read Isaiah chapter 61, he closed the scroll sat down and announced very simply, Today, this scripture passes is fulfilled in your hearing. Surprise! Surprise! Surprise the entire Nazareth congregation. The prophet Isaiah was inspired to write these words for more than 700 years earlier. For seven centuries, Jewish preachers and teachers had preached on the soon coming Messiah. They had waited hundreds of years for the fulfillment of this prophecy. And suddenly, now, a poor, nothing to boast about carpenter claimed to be that Messiah. How would we react? if we were in the midst of that congregation? I wonder that later on, would we have joined the men of the synagogue trying to kill Jesus? Jesus' announcement bowed the Nazareth congregation over, for the local Nazareth knew Jesus' background and family so well. Nonetheless, his words were a manifest revelation of God's character. First, Jesus' announcement tells us that our God is a God of hope. Wherever Jesus went, He brought hope. He brought hope to the leper exiled from his home and his community. He brought hope to the paralyzed man who was unable to care for his family. To people who felt worthless or lost or broken or rejected, Jesus brought the message that God loved them. Even in Jesus' last moments when he was dying on the, on the cross, he offered the hope of eternal salvation to the thief dying beside him. Where God is, there is hope. Where God is absent, there is no hope. That was the message Jesus came to share with us. Second, Jesus' announcement tells us that our God is a God of justice. The old Jewish religion operates on a very simple assumption you get what you deserve in this life. If you are poor, God must want you to be poor. 
If you are sick or disabled, you are being punished for your sins. Therefore, health and wealth are a blessing from God. If you don't have health or wealth, then God must not love you. Jesus came to turn this flawed point of view upside down. He came to declare that God loves the poor, the blind, the sick, the oppressed even more because of their humble state. He announced that riches on earth are meaningless. He showed that a healthy body is worthless if one soul is dead in sin. Only in Christ we meet a God who loves and lift up those whom others would tear down. His heart is with those who suffer. He cares about those who are hurting, who are helpless, who are broken-hearted, who are in bondage. Finally, Jesus' announcement tells us that our God is the God of freedom. When Jesus walked on this earth, He rebuilt the power structures that oppressed people. He freed sick people from their diseases. He freed disabled people from their handicaps. He freed sinners from the burden of their sins. He freed demon-possessed people from their torment. He broke the chains of fear, confusion, and anxiety in the lives of the people He touched. Our God is the God of freedom, and He can free us too. God is about hope. God is about justice. God is about freedom. Jesus' announcement was a surprise to His listeners 2,000 years ago. If we think about it seriously, it is a surprise to us today as well. Let us pray. Jesus, help me. In all of my doubts, perplexities, and temptations, Jesus, help me. In hours of loneliness, weariness, and trials, Jesus, help me. In failure of my plans and hopes, in disappointment, troubles, and sorrows, Jesus, help me. When my heart is cast down by failure, I see no good coming from my efforts. Jesus, help me. When I, when I am ill and my head and hands cannot work and I am lonely, Jesus, help me. Always and always, in spite of weariness, falls and shortcomings of every kind, Jesus, help me and never forsake me. Amen. Thank you very much. For listening. Please subscribe to my video and visit my website at fatherlin.com. May God bless you.